Thank you for joining us for the two minute drills. The Southeast Division Championship is upon us. New blood in the finals this year. I'm Aram Talegian, San Gabriel Valley newspaper group football writer behind the camera. Joined on the right, the man holding up the newspaper, Fred J. Robletto, the San Gabriel Valley 55 Tribune. 55 21. San Gabriel Valley Tribune prep sports editor. And on the left, San Gabriel Valley Tribune jack of all trades, Steve Ramirez, El Veterano of the staff. Guys, West Covina 12 and 1 against Bonita 12 and 1 at Walnut High School on Friday night, 7 p.m. Freddie, get us started here. Southeast Division Championship. What can you say? Well, yesterday at the at the the CIF luncheon, Aaron, they were saying all the right things. Uh, Bonita players, this is the game they all circled on the calendar. This is the team they want to play. The one team that gave them their only blem blemish, a 55-21 uh, score that wound up. Uh, Deciding the Hacienda League title. And West Covina, Coach Majori, saying all the right things, too. He, re he, re he reminded us that, you know, when they won their championship back in 2004. I was they had, there. They had to beat a Walnut team that beat them during the regular season. And they yep. beat South Hills in the championship that beat them during the regular season. So he knows what did, Bonita's feeling like. Did he also remind you that he was crying at the end of that game when they won it, man? Well, just, I believe it. Just I to show it. you how much a CIF title. And might I add, a much heavier Coach Majori back then. The, man, the man's done <laughs> the man a great job. The man's yeah. He looks like oh, Jack. Lane He's gotten in <laughs> unbelievable shape. I need to take a page out of his playbook yeah. real fast. But, but, it, but it's a, it's a yeah. great situation, Steve, yeah. because you have those two dynamics, and you have a coach like Majori who's been mm -hmm. where, where Podley's at right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Benitez, 1999. That was their last championship yeah. before that. you got to go back to the 1940s yeah. Yeah. when they went three with a, yeah. a Heisman Trophy winner by the name of Glenn Davis. Mm -hmm. But but what are your thoughts? You saw West Covina well, recently, and I'll tell you yeah. about Benito, which I saw well, a Well, it's, it's always – I think Benita just has the, the, the advantage, um, the fact that they lost that game and lost big. Usually when you play a team the second time, you're more attention to detail. And those teams, I think, have an advantage. I mean, you can go through all history right. when teams have – gotten beat pretty good in, in in the regular season and they come back and play a team in the playoffs they they don't always win the game but they at least make it close yeah and Benita's favorite and I covered that game back when it happened with the 55-21 game I was there too uh, Freddie come on yeah, <laughs> yeah what I remember you know Pendleton was just coming back from injury it might have been his third or fourth game back right. he passed for uh, 279 yards a touchdown and two interceptions instantly those are the last interceptions he's had in that West Covina game yeah. he hasn't thrown a pick six I mean a pick since in that game, he was sacked six times, Aram, and in the mm -hmm. red zone, they wound up kicking two field goals. Yep. They had a key towards the end of the first half. You remember this. West Covina was up 20-13, to 13, and Anthony Molina intercepted a pass and went to the house toward the end yep. of the half, gave him a 27-13 lead. That was the type of game it was. I mean, you look yeah. at the final score, and it's 55-21. Solomon went crazy, uh, uh, scored four touchdowns, ran for 190 yards. It just was the perfect storm for mm -hmm. West Covina that night. And if I'm Bonita, Steve, I'm mm -hmm. kind of holding my head in that. I'm looking back at that game and saying, we can't play another game like that. It's got, you know, that, that's just one of those circumstances. I mean, you look at the 55 points. Uh, on any given night, it can be a lot different. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the, what the type of stats this Benita team has put up, and they, they look pretty balanced. They throw for about 200 yards, rush for about 150. I mean, I mean they have balance within balance. The, the, uh, Pendleton spreads the ball to, to five or six different receivers, so they're a tough team to defense. And, but West Covina um, just, uh, is, is mostly run. But they spread it around among among five backs. Yeah, Freddie, if you look back to that first game, what stood out to me, like we said when we came back here that night, was West Covina's speed just gave Bonita fits. It was actually 10-7 Bonita in the first quarter. Yeah. They kicked a field goal after having to settle for right. three with a deep, after a deep drive. Kicked off to B.J. Lee. Fatal mistake. The guy takes it back to the house. 14-10 West Covina. They never look back. They and, never trail again. Jordan mentioned something this week that, that's going to be pretty key. Zach Brumgard, the wide receiver DB, yeah. wasn't in that game injured. Cody McKenzie, yeah. offensive line, defensive line, he wasn't in that right. game. Those guys are big parts of Bonita's team. Who knows what type of difference right. they make on Friday night. That's why, to me, you got a completely different game. Right. You got a completely different dynamic. I mean, the pressures. Well, everything's different than a game yeah. in the middle of the season, Aaron, when you, you know, play for a title. Coach Podley said after the game, that he and the team did not feel like they gave a, a, a good impression of themselves, that that was not them out there, that, that that's not who they are as a team. And they've come back to prove it, Freddie. Five straight wins since then. They yeah. played the tougher road into the finals. They beat Cal High. They beat Muir on the road. They beat Lucerna at home. Um, you can't argue with the way they're playing. But I remember coming back here that night, Freddie, and the first thing I said to you here on tape, uh, on video was, I, there was nothing in that game that made me think that if these two teams rematched, that the difference would be any any that would the difference would change. 
I just thought West Covina is too fast for them. I still think they're too fast for them. We got a few minutes left here. Let's get into the well, picks. And you said Bonita's playing well right now. I don't know that they're playing that great. The Mir game, they didn't look that great. I mean, there was a lot uh -huh. of penalties. There's a lot of things that went into that. The Lacerna game, from what I understand, Coach Podley himself called it one of the ugliest wins in playoff history. <laughs> I mean, they, they haven't played that great. But maybe a, a team like West Covina makes them play great. Maybe. Sometimes in those games against Lacerna, against Mir, you're playing teams you know you're supposed to beat. Sometimes, you know, you're going through the motions. You're just, everyone's telling you, you're going to be in that rematch. You're going to be in that championship against West Covina. When you're a kid, you think about those kind of things. So who knows? I think I think we're going to see Bonita's greatest game on Friday night. But the, the fact is, Airman, you pointed out, I still don't think they're going to be able to stop West Covina's <laughs> running game. I still think at the end of the day, when you have a team that runs that well yeah. uh, and can put their, their foot on the pedal the way West Covina can, yeah. there's nothing Bonita can do to stop it. Yeah, I mean, um, what West Covina does... I mean, the way they, they mix it up, I mean, they can go spread on you with, with Solomon and Lee, and then they can go uh, wing T and, and, and put Aaron Salgado in there. <laughs> yeah, and, I don't and, want to and tackle the last, that. And the last thing, George Johnson, the quarterback, is, yeah. is, is playing yeah. the best football yeah. he's played in the yeah. three years as a starter, yeah. particularly this last month. When they mm. need big plays, he's mm. giving it to them. They need the big pass, mm. he's giving it to them. Mm. And you could tell he's a guy who's mm. experienced because he's managing the offense, and he does – what you need a quarterback to do. We've seen a lot of quarterbacks in these playoffs, Aram, yeah. don't name names, lose games sure. because they, they try to be too dynamic. Sure. George Johnson's a smart guy in that he's not going to lose a game. He's not going to go out there right. and throw three picks and blow up for you. He's going to manage a game, and that's right. why they've been so good. I agree. So it sounds like you're both picking West Covina. Do I have it right? Well, yeah. well how could you? Like I said, Benita hasn't done anything in the last two games. But having said that, will I be surprised if Benita beats West Covina in the championship? No, I won't. Because I think the last game, it was one of those circumstances games that got away from them. I certainly think they're good enough, yeah. but I think West Covina is still the best team, and the best team usually wins championship games. Yeah, yeah I think it's going to be a closer game, but like you both have said, I think there's just too much speed on, on West Covina's side for Benita to handle for the entire game. Well, you know, I predicted this rematch, Fred, in a very controversial column that I wrote uh, at the beginning of the playoffs that West Covina and Bonita would meet in the finals. Uh, you know, I thought the Hacienda League was the toughest league in the division. That's been proven out. Um, I just can't see the, 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 the story changing. I think West Covina is too fast, too, too much potential for big plays. Bonita's done a great job to pick themselves up since that West Covina loss, but there's always been that question about teams from that side of the valley. Are they tough enough when they play south of the tracks? I think Bonita proved a little they're, bit of that that they are. I think because they beat a good Lucerna enough. team, and the Lucerna likes to play tough, and Bonita got tough with them and I mean, played I mean, with them. This game excites me. You know, the last two years in the Southeast, we've had the Charter Oak Diamond Ranch. Right. That, that, right. It didn't excite me the same way because right. I never thought Diamond Ranch had a chance. Right. I think Bonita has a very, very good chance in this game. Yeah, I agree. So I'm, I'm going to make it a trio here. I'm going to take West Covina. Fans, get out to that game. It's at Walnut High at 7 p.m. Southeast Division Championship. Fred's reminding you all what happened to you the first time. What's going to happen again? Should be a great one. Locals only. Friday night, 7 p.m. at Walnut. Enjoy it.